Hey everyone, welcome to our split tutorial to help you get your splits. You'll need a cushion, a chair, and some yoga box, preferably. First things first, make sure you've warmed up. Now up on our feet for our first stretch. So we are going to do a tabletop, so make sure we're hinging at the hips. Going right the way down, make sure we're not pushing back into our legs. Let our head hang. You can bend your knees. As long as you're feeling the stretch in the back of your legs, that's what's important. Find any position that's comfortable. You can do different things with your arms to, to maximise the stretch. Hold each stretch for about 20 seconds. You can increase that time if you're very warm, if you've just done a class, or if you're feeling particularly stretchy that day. Onto our second stretch. This is our pyramid pose. So take a small step out, again hinging at the hips, it's nice straight back, and come down. Again, you wanna be feeling the stretch in your legs, Arm position isn't too much of a worry, as long as you're comfortable. Nice straight back. You can use the yoga blocks for this, just to help support your upper body. Making sure our hips are staying square, not twisting either way. And our feet are parallel. And swap legs. With all stretching, remember to relax and try to breathe through the stretch. Even though it's uncomfortable, you want to trick your body into thinking that it is comfortable and it is relaxed in the position. So a nice tight tummy, flat back to come up. Getting back down onto the floor now for our next stretch. Again, you can choose to use the yoga blocks for this or not, depending how you feel. Here it is without, again, bending from the hips. And you can put your yoga blocks just under your shoulders to help you stretch. So you're looking at stretching the back of the front leg. Making sure the hips are square throughout all of this. You can pull your foot up, point up to the ceiling to get a slightly different stretch on this leg now. Cover to swap legs. Again, pointing that foot first, making sure our hips are square, the back foot is relaxed. Okay, so now using the cushion for our next stretch. So place the cushion under one knee, and then we're gonna have the other foot in a lunge. So make sure again, knees never go over our toes. And we're gonna think about pushing the back thigh down to the floor and feeling the stretch within our hip. As with all of these stretches, hips staying square, making sure you're not sinking down onto the hip you're trying to stretch. You want your body to be mostly upright 
and again pushing that down. If you're struggling to feel this stretch, you can try and tilt your pelvis forward and that will help intensify the stretch. And the same thing on the other leg. So again, you can have the yoga blocks to help you balance. So pushing that thigh down to the floor, nice straight back. This next stretch is for our quadricep or the front thigh muscle. I feel this stretch quite intensely. So again, I use the yoga block to help support my balance. Hips should be trying to remain square. You're looking at stretching the front of the back leg. You can always you can do it also without your hand and just squeezing your leg towards yourself. This might be better if you struggle somewhat with balance. And the same thing on the other leg. Making sure our knee doesn't go past our toe on the front foot. And remembering to relax and breathe through all of our stretches. This next stretch is often referred to as pigeon pose. That's a yoga term. Again, trying to keep our hips square, making sure we're not sinking down. You can again use the yoga blocks to support yourself, help with the balance. Trying to push yourself as upright as possible. And the same thing on the other leg again. Trying to square those hips. And push ourselves up. Now we're going to stand up for our calf stretch. So just a simple calf stretch. So a step out to the back, pressing our heel down, making sure uh, we are parallel, maximizing that stretch in the lower back leg. And the same thing on the other foot. Remember we're trying to keep that heel down on the floor so if your heel is raised that you won't be maximizing the stretch. Parallel 
feet parallel hips. down onto the floor for this next one and we're putting our leg out in front of us straight and we're sitting down onto our back heel make sure that back heel isn't sickling and then pulling our foot back you can also use this stretch as well as your calf you can also get quite a good foot stretch if you pull your toes back so you get a stretch under the foot as well You're also trying to lay flat along your front leg if possible, so getting your chest and head right the way down to your ankle. And the other leg. Making sure the leg that is out in the front is straight. And we're going to lie down for our next stretch. You may want to use a stretching band with this or a TheraBand, anything that will help you with this stretch. Both legs are supposed to be straight. I don't seem to be keeping my bottom leg very straight, but try harder than that. <laughs> you can bend and stretch the top leg as well to help you feel a stretch and a release and then a stretch again. Make sure you're relaxing, breathing, pulling that leg towards you as much as possible. And make sure both of your legs are straight. Same thing on the other leg. So you're trying to get your leg back to your ear in line with your shoulder. You may choose to flex the foot to gain a better stretch or a different stretch. It depends what you're working on. Make sure your leg isn't turning out or turning in but is completely parallel to you in the floor. Now sitting up and you're going to go in a half straddle. So this isn't about getting your legs out to the side, this is about a nice side stretch. So trying to really stretch along that long side. Again it can be with a pointed or flexed foot or relaxed depending on what you're working for. Same thing on the other side. Remember to use your head as the heaviest part of your body, it can help you stretch. Also remember to relax and breathe. Now into a full straddle, you want your legs as far back as you can get them. That might mean shuffling your bottom forwards or pushing your legs back, depending where you are. You're now going to do a front stretch along that leg. So try and get your body to, to face your leg and stretch over it whilst maintaining the stretch along the inner leg. Same thing on the other side, remember to be lengthening through and keeping these legs straight 
making sure you're continuing to feel the stretch on the inner leg. Okay, we're now going to go for a forward stretch in the straddle. So depending how strong you are or you're feeling at this point, you may want to use the yoga blocks to support you going down. You're trying to get as flat as possible on the floor whilst keeping your legs rotated outwards, so knees to the ceiling or even feeling like they're rotating to the back of the room. Toes, again, you can point or flex depending on your stretch. This will help with the middle splits as well as help stretching out your back slightly. This next stretch can be a bit awkward to get into but it's quite a good stretch for the middle splits. Um, it's a lot easier on a slippier floor. Um, make sure your legs are parallel, so you want most of your weight to be going through your lower legs, not just your knees. So you, want your, you almost want your legs in a square position, so to speak. And again, trying to relax and breathe into the stretch. now for a simple frog's legs. So try and make sure we're keeping those legs close to us, trying to really bounce those knees to get the stretch so you can bounce, bounce, hold, bounce, bounce, hold or just continue to bounce. You can also lean forward to really accentuate that stretch in the hip. Give your legs a quick hug just to release some of the tension that we might have built up whilst doing these stretches, even though you should be relaxing into them. Okay, the next stretch is on our back. Make sure you've got enough room and you're going to just take your legs up perpendicular to the floor and then slowly let them out. You might want to use your hands to help until you are comfortable in the position. You don't want your hands to be pushing your legs upwards though, you, you need the gravity to feel the stretch. You can choose to add a slight bounce which will help again with a more dynamic stretch. If you are very warm, that would be a good way to do it. As this is for stretching and not strengthening, use your hands to push your legs up. And now we are going to use our chair for some stretches. So the first stretch we are going to do is to practice our front and back splits. So move the chair into the best position for yourself. And you're gonna start on one knee, putting that leg out to the front. Again, making sure those hips are square, not twisting around to the side. You should only be able to see one bum cheek as you go down. So. Remember, you're not looking to push yourself down too flat, you're looking to keep your hips completely square to the front and your legs in parallel. Again, stretch 
you can use a yoga block to help support you and so you don't feel like you have to balance or hold yourself up maybe you've got the yoga block and the chair to help or two chairs depending what you would like to use So keeping that hip in at the front, which is what I will be showing you. Toes pointed on both feet, of course. And the same thing on the other side. Again, you could choose to add a bounce if you'd like to, depending on how warm you're feeling. Stretch is using the chair but for the middle splits. So slowly lower yourself down. You might find this easier on a slippier floor or a less slippy floor, depending on how confident you are. And there are our splits stretches for you to get front and back and middle splits. So well done, keep working.